Oh, well, hey there, everyone. Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. So much is going on in the world and on the farm. I have beans to can, and I thought you could join me for a chat while I break up some beans. You must know that we are headed for a system-wide breakdown. You know, everything from food to housing to um, the economy, fuel restrictions, food shortages, you know, the works. This feels a little tough. <laughs> they have been in the refrigerator waiting for me for since Friday, and it's Wednesday. They still look okay. They're not moldy or anything. <laughs> but this particular bean is called a Hutterite. It makes a white bean. And I got the original seeds from the National Heirloom Expo in 2017. But something struck me yesterday that I just really wanted to mention. And that is along the lines of the video I did the last time we had a chat was, you know, about privacy and where do you draw the line. I'll put the link right up here. So yesterday I saw, it was a photo of a billboard in front of an Amazon store that said, all you have to do now is show us your palm to pay, to check out and actually use the word convenience on the thing. It's so convenient. So how many things have we been sold in our lifetimes about making our lives more convenient? You know, oh, you can put a watch around your wrist that tells you your heartbeat. You can know if you're about to have a heart attack. I don't know, maybe it's, maybe that's saved some lives. I can't say, I'm not a doctor. All I know is the more, you know, information that you give the government, the more it will take, <laughs> gladly. The, they say that the industry of the future, and this is, you know, directly from the World Economic Forum, which we hear so much about today, and they say that what will be traded, sold, you know, the economy will be the sale of data, our data. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I have nothing to hide. I'm not worried about it. Okay, okay. Um, but just consider that whatever it is, maybe you have nothing to hide. Okay, you've never committed a crime. You've never uh, been speeding. You've never had a parking ticket. I don't know. Maybe you're that perfect. But whatever it is, whatever you discuss with anyone will be known and sold for money. How does that sit with you? It doesn't sit well with me at all. Now, many places you've probably already had to give your thumbprint. They, of course, have your face, you know, the, the picture of your face. Do they have the biometric data? I don't know. Um, did you sign up for that signing into your smartphone with your facial recognition? Did you do that? I did that in the very beginning when I first got this phone, like four years ago or something. And after, I thought, wait a minute, just something didn't sit right. And that's before all of this craziness of the last two years has happened. So I encourage you to really think about just handing over your personal data because it will be sold and someone will make money on it. So that is the, going to be the industry of the future. This is tough. Maybe I shouldn't even can that. Well, it's got, it's got very nice beans inside. I'll just use the beans inside. Now, a lot of people have been awake for a very long time. I, I can't say that I have been. Uh, I'm just glad I am now. So I feel like I want to do whatever I can. Look at those big, fat, pretty white beans inside no reason why I can't just, you know, I may not even have enough to can when I get this done. I just want to caution you to be discerning. I mean, if you are a believer in the Bible, you know, God tells us to be discerning and to try to put our faith 
not try to do, put our faith in God and not man. Um, so much of what has happened in the last two years, many people have just blindly followed whatever the government says to do. And of course now we're finding out that so we have to be very, very discerning. Now, even the head of the European Commission, so basically the voice of the EU, which is the, the body that controls most of the European countries, she is now talking about flattening the curve by reserve, the conserving your energy. Now, where have you heard that expression? She said it's going to take a couple of weeks to flatten the curve while people conserve energy. So, just hearing that phrase again, you know that it's the energy crisis, the, the, you know, the climate crisis is the new pandemic. It'll be all about, we've got to save the planet. And the planet is not in any immediate peril. You know, you can think whatever, whatever you think about the climate crisis. It's not in immediate peril, but I guarantee you, if millions of people go without power this winter, they will be in peril. We were energy independent two years ago, and now we're completely dependent upon other countries, and our oil is going to other countries and not going to our country. These are all just facts that I'm telling you. I'm, I'm asking you to do your own research, do your own, make, draw your own conclusions. The last two years, every move that has been made has been made to make us more dependent on the government, not less. So, is that a good thing? Do you think it's a good thing? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I personally think it's not a good thing. Every war since the Napoleonic War, I guess, or whatever war that was that Napoleon, <laughs> um, has been paid for. Both sides. Both sides have been paid for by the central banks. So the central bankers, of course, are part of this global elite that are calling the shots. So. I talked about the central bank digital currency in my last video, so I encourage you to, to look at that. Um, if that. If they manage to pull that one off, if people just go along and let that happen, then there's really no coming back from that unless God intervenes, you know, because we will have given away our power to do anything about it. So, it's like I was saying in the last video, the more you peel back the layers, you know. Oh yeah, somebody asked me to speak on the ESG score. The ESG rating is a comprehensive score that corporations are going to be saddled with going forward. And it stands E is environmental, and S is social, and G is governance. So in other words, you have to have a good score in order for people to want to invest money in your company. This is what uh, the World Economic Forum is going to push going forward is this ESG score. So everyone will have one. And the way that they will control your activities based upon your score is with the the CBDC, the digital currency. So, as I explained in that other video, they imagine that you will have a certain amount of money that they will give you because they want you dependent, so you will work and you will earn a certain amount of money that they will give you. And as long as you're good and you do good things for the environment and you drive an electric car and you, you don't go very far and you don't buy meat and you eat your, their bugs that they want to feed you, then everything's all good. <laughs>
this is the future we're looking at, you know. And I remember at one point my son said, Mom, I haven't lost any of my freedoms. And I'm going, it creeps away, you know. That you, you give up a little and, and you, and, until you're inconvenienced. And then they go, oh, okay, then we can relax that a little bit. And then they step it up again. I sent uh, a, one of these videos to my text group. We have about... I have about seven or eight gals in my group. She said, okay, so, all right, we get it. We get it, what kind of situation we're in, but what do we do about it? And so I fired off a list, use cash. I've, I've talked about this, keep cash in circulation. They don't know what you're spending, they don't know what you're buying as long as you're using cash. Um, if you go into an establishment that says we don't we no longer take cash walk out go somewhere else keep that cash in circulation uh, move your money to a local bank or credit union um, and this is very important get to know your sheriff um, now this is easier to do in a smaller town or city than you know like la um, actually i did know the sheriff in la <laughs> I knew the, I knew the uh, police chief and his assistant, who became the sheriff. Here, I made it a point in the last few months to meet my sheriff. And I've talked to him twice now at two different events. And he assures me that he is a constitutional sheriff. Which means, and this is what, this is what you need to find out when you do meet your sheriff. Are you going to protect our town the citizens of our town from federal government if they roll in here and start making demands. And he better say yes. <laughs> so that is the highest authority in your county. And it, it's an elected position, so he is, he is going to listen to the people. He will make time for you if you ask for it. So ask for it. Get to know your sheriff. Make sure he's a constitutional sheriff and will stand for the people in his jurisdiction. Um, of course, we've talked endlessly about stockpiling food, potable water, medicines, fuel, and necessities. So I won't go into that. Um, organize and build local community. I've talked about that a lot. Uh, run for local school boards and local offices. Lo run for your county commission, you know, for uh, city council. Pray without ceasing. That's, you know, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't keep a lot of money in the bank, just in case. You know, just keep what you need to cover your auto payments and, uh, you know, put it into commodities, gold, silver, crypto, whatever you, you've looked into. Keep some cash on hand. Protect yourself and your family by taking a gun safety class and self-protection class. And don't delay about that because I know everyone, and I mean everyone, has seen all the violence. Uh, going on around our country and uh, and you want to be able to protect yourself and your family so um, I started watching a YouTube channel it's called active self-protection and he uh, he's been doing it a long time he's got a real successful channel he will show you a security camera short security camera video of a crime and then he will analyze it and you know and you can learn what people did right, what people did wrong, um, you know, that, that responded to the, the crime. So, you know, just like in the garden, be vigilant, be observant. Um, you know, understand when you see a chessboard <laughs> pattern in the sky, that's not natural. That's not natural. That's been going on for decades. Um, and there's all kinds of proof if you stop to look for it. Actually, one of the last things that um, uh, my sister said to me, we, we talked three times the week before she died, and in, on June 16th she died, and um, she's, I was telling her about some of these things, not, not the hardcore stuff, but there's a lot of hardcore stuff, but there's some of them, and she was saying, Kay, if, if my head had all the stuff in, that you have in your head, I couldn't sleep at night. 
And it's, it's actually, it's not easy. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. It's a burden, actually, because you feel like you want to save everyone. And it's just not possible to save everyone because, you know, people have to save themselves. You've got to do your own research, make your own conclude, draw your own conclusions, discern what is right and what is true. You know, don't just follow what you're told. Be ungovernable. <laughs> and on that note, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Uh, hopefully I'll get this up uh, very soon. It's much longer than I thought it was going to be. I have a tendency to go on and on, but I really appreciate you sticking with me. And if, um, if this resonates with you, great. Leave me a comment. Hit the like button. You know, if it doesn't, just go on. No need to, you know, worry. But, um, but we need to worry. <laughs> so thanks so much. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. is taking forever. The other beans don't have a string. Oh, it's times like this I wish my grandmother were alive. <laughs>